how you can create very professional and easy email templates for your Shopify store. If you use Shopify regularly, you know that when you go to um, settings and notifications, there are a lot of notifications that you can customize for your customers. So for example, we have order confirmation, which means that the customer will get an email saying, hey, your order has been processed and a list with products. And they all, um, also get, um, oh, sorry, no, when the order was placed, of course, the other one was the shipping confirmation. Um, then we have order canceled, order refund, a lot of different things. And for all of these, the customer will get a certain email telling him that something is gonna happen. and. Normally, these are all standardized by Shopify and they look like this. So you have some information, you, you have your store name, in this case, my test store for videos, the order number, and then this very, very standard text along with um, the address and stuff like this. Now, of course, this is okay. Um, this is no really big problem if you leave it like this, but it's obviously not perfect because when you do it this way it's not really branded it's not really customized it's not really targeted to your store and to the customer and you should uh, if you're serious about the store and you should do much better and what i do what all i always do is since i think it's not that easy to customize um within shopify so you, i mean of course you can you can uh, here change the colors and stuff like that using accent colors but um, i think in general it's um, quite hard to do this in a good professional way. So what I do is I use the free application Klaviyo Email Marketing, which is mainly to send email, uh, to send marketing emails, like the name is saying already, like with Mailchimp and stuff like that. But I use it to modify my email templates that I send out. So if we click here on um, the app you can just download it in the app store maybe i'll link it somewhere like i said it's free um, then you come here and you see already that you can subscribe customers to your email list in this case i don't use one i don't have one for this demo store so we just go here to email templates and there you can see already all the different pre pre-used templates shopify shipping updates shipment delivered and all these things and now here we also see the order confirmation that we had right here order confirmation and now we can just go to um, order confirmation right here and edit it in a very very easy to use way so this is how it looks and here you can change a picture and add in your, your company logo for example your store logo and then you can modify basically everything and this is way easier of course so um normally you should you you have to do it in a very hard way on shopify itself like i showed you before you can put in the custom colors but if you really want to modify everything you have to type in the html code directly and here it's super easy you just can insert certain things you have different blocks that you can use for example if you here want to use a button for example you could insert it here and say claim your purchase or something um, if you, for example, send abandoned cart emails, claim your purchase. Very, it looks pretty nice and it's very easy to use. You can you can put in this in a split right here, so you have a right column and the and the left column, um, and you can of, of course use variables. So in this case, when you when you take a look at this one, um, in this case column two. You have, for example, line quantity, line price, money, so the, the, the price for the different items, line title. And when you put them in the two brackets, then you know that these are variables that you can use that are also used, exa for example, for the um, here for the, for the appropriate date, but also for the order number that will just get inserted. So this is a very cool way to, to modify your campaign, the, your, your emails and make them appealing to your customer and customize them to your brand. And if you're done with this, modifying all these things at the bottom, you can also hit, you can also put in your, um, your social links. So if you go here, you insert them here and you have the different buttons, then you can add a button. And if the first one is, for example, okay, what well, right, you have to, to import the pictures. 
Now I'm out. That's of course perfect. Didn't use it for quite a time since all my campaigns are set up. Um, yeah, but you can of you can also add the social media buttons here on, on, on the bottom, your Facebook and whatever. And when you're done, you just go to save and return to templates. Um, and now you can click this one and hit export. And now you just copy it. And when you go to the notifications, for example, order confirmation, you have all this text, all this HTML, which is very complicated. You will never be able to, to modify a lot of these just in this file because it's just messy. And if you don't know what you do, this is yeah, pretty hard. So you just go ahead, click in there, um, mark everything, delete it, and copy and paste the template that you got from here. As you can see, it's actually way bigger because obviously they have all these images and all these things. But now it's it looks really messy, but it's basically the same as this one, and it's very easy to use. Now you can do this for all the different things. You can create email newsletters. You can create the, the normal Shopify um, the normal Shopify notifications, customer, customer password reset. Of, of course, you don't necessarily need all of them. What I usually do is the typical refund, shipping, um, canceled, and account welcome, for example. These are the ones along with the, sh the order confirmations that I really add, uh, modify. Um, but of course, you can also do it for everything. Um, it really helps you to, to get your brand out there a little bit more and to make the customer recognize immediately what you are talking about and what this email is about. So yeah, I hope you try this out. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, since a lot of people asked me how to, to really create this, this standardized emails for your um, notifications. And just let me know if you have any other questions about this topic. Then I will make a video about this as well. And see you next time.